Welcome back to WIS News Primetime. It's that time of the week. Our friends from Final Victory Animal Rescue are back in the studio for this week's edition of Primetime Pups. General Manager of Final Victory Animal Rescue, Michael Sneezik, joins us now with this week's Primetime Pup, Tanner. Tanner has been <laughs> such a sweetheart. Doing He's kind of loved. Well, he has been so sweet in studio. There he Tell is. us a little bit about this cute little face, this cute yeah. little sweetheart. So Tanner is unfortunately our longest resident right now. Um, he's been featured on the show once already, and we're back trying to get him adopted. He came into us as a stray. I mean, he's just a sweetheart. I love him. We've been able to learn a lot about him while he's been yeah. in our care. Um, he's, I don't know why, he's just one of my favorites, and so we need to just make sure that he gets the perfect home. Absolutely. He has such a calm disp yeah. disposition, oh. which I think is really sought after in, in dogs. That's but how is he, I guess, kind of with other dogs? He obviously loves the scratches. Yeah. How is he with other dogs? Have y'all, you said you learned a lot yeah. about him. Yeah, so when he first came on the show, he was really new. Yeah. Um, he had not been neutered at that point. We were still working on that, and, you know, we, we were just still learning a lot about him. Yeah. Um, now that we've had him for a bit longer, you know, he's neutered, he's ready to go. Um, we were, you know, really able to see how he's been with other dogs. And initially, he passed his dog test, but as time wore on and he got a little bit more kennel crazy, you know, he yeah. kind of started being a little bit eh with other dogs. But now we've been able to try him out and really see what makes it work well. Yeah. Um, and so we've seen that he's, you know, there's some dogs he really loves, for some dogs he doesn't seem to care as much for. Um, but we've been able to really get a good sense of how his body reacts with other yeah. dogs and kind of can see if he's going to be a good fit for dogs or not a good fit for other dogs. It's been really beneficial. Absolutely. And I, like you said, obviously you want to find a home for him. But in that mm -hmm. time, you have been able to learn a lot about him for potential owners um, who are going to take him yeah. home. And he's been in a foster home too. There he goes. Okay, there. And <laughs> as you can see, he's, he's pretty chill. He's definitely he mellowed is. out a lot since arrival. Yeah. Um, when he came in, he was just off the walls, you know, very, it's chaotic, it's crazy. As yeah. a younger dog, you want to go play with everybody, you want to see everybody. Um, but now he's, he's really mellowed out a lot. He loves his beds. Like, oh. he will just melt into his bed all day long. Um, he was in a foster home for a little bit of time, which okay. we were very happy about. Learned a lot about him. He's really chill, just a couch potato, which is awesome. He loves his stuffies. You'll see, there, there, there actually there's right one there. of the pictures of it. Yeah, he loves his stuffies. Oh. Um, I mean, he's he really is just a love, and he's my little special guy. He really is. He's a sweetheart, and he was in the car a little bit ago. Oh, you know, the pictures of that. Perfectly. We just That's we drove cute. over here, and he just got in the back seat with the stuffed toy and just oh. laid there. And you know, you could ask him for you know attention. He'd come yeah. up and he'd give you little kisses on your ears and stuff like that. But then he just sat down there. So, and he's been he's been in here, and he's just been laying out with us. I mean, it's been really great to see how calm yeah. he's gotten now. Well, absolutely. I mean, this is the case right here. But here's a little bit about him on your screen. Like you said, one year old terrier. American Staffordshire mix. So he's a mix is what I gathered yep, from that. Pity mix basically. Um, okay, pity mix. Loves to play fetch and tug of war outside. All right, so you got an active little guy, but he's a sweetheart, very food motivated. Yes, loves he, his treats. Oh, he, he probably eats four or five bowls a day. He okay. loves his food. He will do anything for his food. I love it. Well, he looks very <laughs> active though, too. I mean, he's taking his rest right now, but he's, look at that little there face. There he is. There's the face. Just a sweetheart of a little. Like you said, yeah. he's been here for and about three months. So. Everybody, everybody that meets him, he loves. You know, he yeah. he is very a social dog. He just goes up to everybody, says hi. Yeah. But it's it's great seeing him in settings like this. We're very able to just hang out. You yeah. know, that's really great to see. He really is, and so people can foster, but also he is looking for his mm -hmm. adoption home, and they can find that information obviously online. We have a whole full screen of resources for this little one, but he really <laughs> does make such a wonderful companion. Oh. I mean, like you said, he'll give the cuddles when he needs to, but he can be calm and so. Just yeah, and coming. you know, in in the animal rescue world, where it's dogs you just get attached to. You don't know yeah. why. There's some yeah. that you just feel really special to. He's my close boy. You know, he's one that I will recommend. I will put yeah. my my job on the line if I have to for him. He's that that perfect. I love him. Well, he's got his perfect home coming, and if that perfect home is you, obviously we have all those resources online and our website WISTV. I know there's a full screen with all the information about sweet little Tanner right here, giving all the love. But he is really just a wonderful dog. I cannot speak more highly about him. <laughs> And he's been three months, but he's ready to find his home, ready to get out there. Why? Again, just a final question about that. Why yeah. do some dogs stay longer than others? What it really reason? mostly depends on the breed, the okay. age, and honestly, the gender. We see that female dogs tend to go quicker um, okay. with the breed. You know, bullies, especially the more common bullies, such as the reds or the blues, they tend to stick around a little bit longer because, you know, you can find them really anywhere. Um, so it's, you know, it's looking past the breed, looking past the color. You need to find what makes their mm -hmm. personality special. Um, and then also, honestly, the age. We we find that okay. the kind of the teenagers, the one to a year and a half olds, mm -hmm. they're the hardest, you know, honestly, maybe even back to eight months, they're kind of the hardest okay. to get adopted because 
people are either looking for that puppy puppy that they can train, yeah. they can, you know, it's very little thing from the beginning, or we're looking for an older, more mature dog who's a little bit more laid back, maybe a little bit more trained. Um, and so you get the teenagers who are just a little bit more rambunctious <laughs> yeah. and wild, you know, they might need a little bit more training. Yeah. Um, and, you know, people just kind of look past that a little bit. And so, you know, we find that these guys are honestly great because they're in that trainable phase. They're happy. They're active. They're great younger dogs for also younger people. They make Absolutely. great first time dogs. He seems like he would make some family very, very